kitchen where I had some times played chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of to my channel. My name is Nicole Cole. If you're new to my channel, we just purchased a house in Kinston, Alabama about the first of this month and we've been slowly, slowly uh, redoing all of the house to kind of our style. So the theme that I'm going through this house with, now listen, I say theme. I love every style. I'm not one style. I'm everything. If I like it, I'm going to use it. So in this house, I'm leaning towards a French farmhouse, French country farmhouse. So I can, I can incorporate my vintage items because y'all know me that I love anything blue and white. I love anything old and, and I do like a little bit of fancy. So this way I'm allowed to kind of add in that girly girl uh, stuff that I love. So we have redone the mantle area. If you watched my video when we walked through, I'll try to link that down below. But when we walked through the house, I mentioned to you all that I was considering painting the mantle. And I did, and it's beautiful. So what I did is I painted repose gray and alabaster white, which I had mentioned this, you know, a month ago, that I was going to use alabaster white and repose gray throughout the entire house. And that's what I am doing. So um, I did the center in the alabaster and the sides on either end in the repose gray. And it is gorgeous. I did paint some of my, um, of my brick and I'll explain to you all why, but I decorated because I wanted to kind of get a feel of what, what it needs to have on it. I have some old lanterns of my grandfather, my great grandfather and his um, picture. So um, I wanted to share this with you all today. Uh, we, we took the week off. We have been working, trying to get everything, you know, where I can start sharing with you all. And I had told him today, I said, this is it. I don't care if I'm not ready. I'm going to share with my friends because, and my friends and my YouTube family, because I'm about to bust. So I am so excited to show this to you all. So what I'm, what it's going to be is I'm going to kind of take you through the process. I kind of filmed this over several weeks. <laughs> so um, I'm going to take you through the process of what we did and how I painted and things like that. And then I'm going to show y'all the end result. So thank y'all so much for all your support and your sweet comments. I will see y'all Saturday. So this is what the mantle looked like before. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the wood and I probably would have left it that way, but we had issues with, you know, my husband didn't have uh, power running to the television. So there was just a lot of things that we had to address. The shallow um, mantle, it, it was beautiful guys, but I just wanted more. So here is the listing picture from when we purchased the home. Like I said, it's absolutely beautiful, but we just wanted to tweak it and I can't wait to share. So This is what's gonna happen today. I still haven't painted the center of the mantle, but we are beefing up or making the mantle area bigger. And I'll show you There's why no we're plug behind the TV. So my husband was having to run this ugly yellow cord all the way up to the television. So what we have come up with is we're going to plug this here, run the white cord behind. We're gonna cover this with wood, make the mantle deeper because it's very shallow as you can see. 
So we're gonna make the mantle deeper and then do some corbels and just dress it up a little bit more and do that all the way across. This is how it turned out. And like I said, I've already decorated. I got my two barn pictures from Kirkland's. I ordered them and they came in within two to three days. I love Kirkland's. Their customer service is wonderful and their shipping is wonderful. Now you'll notice that these pieces right here were already on there, but since I painted this area, the repos gray, and I did all the way up on either side, the repos gray, and then the center is the alabaster. So I thought, you know, I love, and the owner that had the house before us, she said I could have these pieces. She wanted me to have them to go with the, you know, fireplace area. But then after I painted it the gray, I thought, you know, I want to add a wood piece here. So this wood piece was actually at the front door. So I'm repurposing it and using it here. And I think it looks beautiful. I love the mixture of the woods. Cause you can see, I have some, uh, sugar molds up there that have the darker wood. So I'm just kind of mixing in. Now, there is the eyesore of the tile. And I, I'm not a fan of it. My husband's not. We're going to do something lighter. We don't know yet what it's going to be, but we are going to do something there. So our sweet tile guy, Trenton, we may have to hook him up one more time. So once again, we beefed up the mantle and you can see it's pretty deep. I love it. It's long. Um, I did kind of uh, distress this area. I just took a bit of a chain that my husband had and I just beat the tar out of it. It was really fun actually. And then I stained it with a white oak stain because I wanted it brighter in here. I've got my Amazon greenery. I've got three pots just like this from Amazon that I love. And I can try to link those down below for you all. Now listen, I was telling my girlfriend today, you are going to see antique books in everything I do. I, anytime I am at a thrift store or a, a store, I always pick up antique books. You cannot go wrong with antique books. I've added in some of my antlers and some of my wood corbels. Now these corbels here, corbels here, I actually had, and my husband cut the front of them off to make them a little bit narrow, narrower, <laughs> um, to get where we could put them under the mantle. I love them. It kind of gives that French farmhouse feel. I did paint the brick area just ever so slightly due to the fact it was kind of dirty in this area. And it was because this is a fire, wood burning fireplace. Now we are in the look for some gas logs. So we are going to do that. You know, when they put our stove in, I talked to the gentleman about gas logs in here. So I need to sell my kidney and my left foot to get those put in because he said that they are gonna to have to be pretty substantial to go in this fireplace. So y'all pray for me on that one. So anyway, we love the way this mantle area turned out. I painted the ends in the um, Sherwin-Williams alabaster here and here and up this way and this way is the repose gray and then all the way up the center is the alabaster as well. So all the walls in the house will be mainly the alabaster white. And then I'm thinking on these two columns or two, um, that's not the word, two beams on either side. I'm thinking about doing them in the wood like we did on the mantle. So y'all tell me what you think about that. So glad that I could share something with you all today. I'm so sorry that it's been so long. We've just been so, so busy, but we're getting back at it and we're going to start decorating, but I wanted to share this with you all today. I hope y'all have a blessed day and thank you so much for all your encouragement. We'll get back. Life is a winding road. No 
telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground.